Hey everybody, my name is Tommy Hopkins and I am an artist and educator. I've always had the sense that creating art or making things was a very important and special part of me and, and one that I wanted to, uh, that I felt like uh, was going to be part of me no matter what occupation I, I chose. The act of creating, there's something I think very um, enlightening and, and, and empowering in witnessing somebody create and being around people who can make things and make things well. I think starting is one of the most difficult times. There's the initial period where you have an idea and you think it's going to work out a certain way. And, uh, and so there's that initial excitement to, to get the ball rolling on that idea. But sometimes the process of actually starting physically, uh, preparing and starting a project can be very difficult. When I start my work, I, I try to establish like sort of the, uh, the big picture. Basically what I try to do is I get the outer shape, sort of look at things like a silhouette or as a flat shape interpret it that way and then establish boundaries and perimeters and then I work my way in. It, 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 it's, not some, it's not a way of working that comes naturally to me, it's something that I had to work at and practice. But I found that it was effective and efficient for me when I got better at it because it allowed me to sort of focus on those, those details longer and give more time and attention to those things but also put it in the, in the right perspective. Because it's very easy to sort of jump down the rabbit hole of like obsessively like working an area. But if it's not proportional or if it's not to scale, it's, it's all for nothing. Essentially, you know, it's just paint in a pressurized can, and uh, you know, unlike airbrushing or some of these other things, it's a it's a tool that that challenges the user to uh, it challenges the user to, to sort of excel against against the thing it's sort of meant to be used for. So it's a difficult and unusual tool. Um, and for me as a painter, you know, I kind of like the idea of, of, of exploring paint as a medium in all its sort of, you know, uh, manifestations and facets, you know, from the traditional, you know, pigment and medium with brush to, you know, canned and pressurized and uh, ready to buy, ready to make. So, um, so yeah, so that's why I enjoy it and, and still use it. If I were to just start shading and blending, it's like, well, I'd have values and tonal things, but it wouldn't create the, the illusion that I want. Again, that's sort of the idea that what I'm looking at, I can, I can sort of analyze and recreate. Again, it's the big picture. The big goal is what I'm seeing and what are the things that I'm seeing that I want to capture or that I want to uh, express. But there's also a level of like, you know, room for discovery and not knowing either what the final result is, but sort of like seeing certain things that I want to go for, you know? So like, 
like right now there's a lot of things happening with color and and and, and signatures are all over the place but, but what i'm really focusing on what i'm really looking at is this face and the values that are happening and I think my contribution to the community is um, being a um, being an artist that is willing and open to share uh, my own experiences in creating work and through creating work and sharing um, knowledge and um, and sharing ideas through that creative process.